Well, we're one weekend closer to Hollywood's biggest night, the Oscars. The past few Saturdays, we've been going category by category, taking a look at the nominees up for an award this year. And this morning, it's time to take a look at the best actor category. RTV6's Brad Brown has his breakdown and who he thinks will take on the Oscar. Well, we're getting to the good stuff here on our countdown to the Oscars. Among all of the big categories, it's the race for best actor that the probably is the most competitive of the bunch. Let's consider a group of performances that did not make the cut for the final five nominees. There was the creepy news reporter guy, the kid that played the drums until his fingers bled, an English painter named Turner that no one's heard of, the man who brought Dr. King to life on the big screen, and the guy from Ghostbusters playing a cranky old drunk. None of those performances were good enough for a Best Actor nomination. That's because the five that did make the cut are all worthy of taking home an Oscar. First, there's Bradley Cooper at American Sniper. It's one of the very best of his career. The movie is gripping from start to finish, but I think some politics will get in the way for a lot of Academy voters on that one. Eddie Redmayne in The Theory of Everything. He won a Golden Globe for his portrayal of Dr. Stephen Hawking, but I don't think the performance will be enough for the Oscar this time. The competition is just too strong ahead of him with a much wider Academy voting base. Steve Carell in Foxcatcher is stunning, playing crazy rich guy John DuPont. Creepy, unnerving, and mysterious all at once. It's a huge leap for Carell, and he certainly pulled it off. If there is an upset winner, I'd say it would be this one. That leaves my two favorites for the Best Actor Oscar. First, Benedict Cumberbatch in The Imitation Game. He carries this movie with a complicated and complex character in Alan Turing, and the movie is just dramatic enough to give it some edge. Pretty sure I held my breath for most of the last hour. But the big story this award season has been the revival of Michael Keaton's career for his mind-bending, crazy showing in Birdman. And he's my pick to take home the Oscar for Best Actor. It's the one performance of this bunch that I go back to in my head time and time again. There are so many moments in that film that just make your jaw drop, that make you laugh, that make you cringe a little bit, and the way it's all brought to a close simply seals the deal. Yeah, the guy was Beetlejuice, but 25 years after that, I think Keaton will be an Oscar winner. Now we're getting down to the wire as Oscar night approaches. Next week, I'll be back to make some picks in some other categories, including Best Director, the Screenplays, and the Musical Nominees as well. Don't forget, you can make your picks with our online ballot at theindiechannel.com. There's plenty of other goodies there to keep you clicking away for now. I'm Brad Brown. We'll see you back here next week as our countdown to the Oscars continues on RTV6. All right, thanks, Brad. And RTV6 is your home for the Oscars. Tune in Oscar Sunday at 4 p.m., for the Road to Glory, an Academy Awards preview. At 5 o'clock, we take you live to Hollywood for the red carpet, on the red carpet at the Oscars. We go back live to the red carpet with ABC at 7 p.m. And then at 8.30, it's the Oscars live right here on RTV6.